In this question, we're given a diagram that represents some roads and intersections. We're given some angles, and we're asked to find the value of angle x. Well, let's start by drawing a representation of the roads, the intersections, and these angles. I'm just going to draw around the outside of here, and then continue along to include x. And we'll write in x there. And then we'll take this part and move it over to the side to see what we have. What we might notice is that we have a four-sided figure here, a quadrilateral, and that one of the interior angles of the quadrilateral here is at 90 degrees. This symbol means that these two lines are perpendicular to one another. One of the things we might recall is that the sum of the interior angles of a quadrilateral add up to 360 degrees. So if I call these angles A, B, C, D, A plus B plus C plus D should add up to 360 degrees. Now if you weren't sure about that, what you can do is you can actually draw in a diagonal here, and that would break it up into two triangles, this quadrilateral. And we know that a triangle, the sum of the angles, the interior angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So if I have two triangles, then 180 plus 180 on this side would add up to 360. Okay, let's undo that so we remove some of the clutter and work on our equation here. Well, we know that A is 110, we know that B is 90, and we know that C is 60. So therefore, if I substitute those in, like so, we have one variable left that we can solve for. So let's collect like terms. 110 plus 90 is 200, plus 60 is 260. So I'll write it all in yellow here. 260 plus D is equal to 360. Remove the 260 to isolate the D, so 260 minus 260 e plus D equals 360 minus 260. 260s would cancel, and that would leave us with D equaling to 100 degrees. So I can put that in here now. D is 100 degrees. Next, we can look at this straight angle here which is 180 degrees. That means that D plus X would add up to 180 degrees. Now we know that D is 100 degrees, so we can substitute that in for D. And then we can go ahead and solve the equation. So let's subtract 100 from both sides. So 100 minus 100 plus X equals 180 minus 100. So these cancel out, the hundreds, and that leaves us with x equal to 80 degrees. So if we look down our list of options, we can see that b is the right answer. The value of x is 80 degrees.